Hello everyone and welcome to the next video here on the Duct Tape Stuff channel. Now a few tutorials ago I actually showed you how to make a duct tape tie, like a full length tie. And now I'm, I promised as soon as I got the prototype done for the duct tape clip on tie I would post that. So I finally got the prototype done for the clip on tie and that's what we're going to be learning to do in this tutorial. So we're going to be basically, we're going to be making the same kind of tie except we're not going to be making obviously this giant part up here. Just more or less the actual core part of the tie and we're going to use a bobby pin as the clip. So let's get started on that tutorial right now. Okay, so here we go. Now, like I said, the, this part of the tie we're not actually going to make, so we're actually going to make just the core part of the tie here. So now basically what you're going to do is you're going to take your tie, and just like my other tie tutorial, I'm going to recommend that you use a tie that's f as fairly small, it's not really thick, just because it's going to be scrunched up here to where the tie feeds into the fake knot that we're going to make. So I would de definitely recommend that you're going to make a, a, a copy off of a tie that's, that's fairly thin like I showed you in my other tutorial. So, First thing you're doing, going to do is you take your tie and you're going to measure where the knot would normally go on your neck. Usually most ties go to right about where your waistline is. That's where the point should end up. So just measure that out right now. And let's say if this was where it was going to go, it's about, mm, we're looking at probably about 16 inches there. So let's say that's where we're going to um, make the uh, the tie as we're going to make the entire this entire piece here. So definitely mark that down. Like you don't want to mark on the tie, obviously, but just measure like 16 inches, or if that's how much it is, and we're going to mark that for later. So once you get that, just mark it down somewhere, and we'll start working on the fake knot that's going to go on the clip-on tie. Okay, so to make our fake knot that's going to go at the top of the tie, we're first going to cut out two strips of tape of any color, obviously, that are about four inches long and that should be more than long enough to make our fake knot at the top of the clip-on tie. So you're just going to take those two strips, you're going to stick them together directly on top of each other just like this. And now basically what we're going to do is we're going to just fold these two edges in just like this. And you want to kind of fold them on on an angle like this so that you almost makes like a, a V shape or like a triangle. So you want to just kind of keep folding these until you get that desired shape. You would want this hole down here to be fairly small because that's where the tie is going to be scrunched up. So once you get that, that V, you might need to play with it just a little bit just to make sure that it does get to the right spot. Don't worry about the stuff in the background, that's just going to be cut right off. So once you've got your, your spot here that's going to be the V, we're going to take a pair of scissors. You're going to trim off anything that's on the background there that's that's showing. So we got that part on the top and these scissors are, yes, very dull but they'll work anyway. And trim off this part on the side here just like this. So now all we have left is the V part or this is going to be our fake knot. So now we're going to take one smaller strip here and we're just going to make sure this stays down right on here. And you can stick it around this way and wrap it around. That might not look very good on the front here because you have that one piece sticking out, but you can obviously take another piece of tape and, and cover it around and wrap it around the back. Or you could take this piece and apply it lengthwise as well. That would probably cut down on it, uh, on you seeing it as it folds back around. So now we have our fake knot. Now we're going to work on actually making the, the bigger part of the tie and then scrunching it in there and sealing it off. So we'll work on that part next. So now, just like the other tie tutorial that I have up already, we're going to make the main part of the tie here. Now, like I said before, that was 16 inches, which I measured it to. So if it's 16 inches, you want to cut out strips of tape that are 16 inches long. If it's 14 inches, 14 inch strips. If it's 12 inches, 12 inch strips, so on and so forth from there. Just to conserve tape, I'm going to cut them to about 12 inches here just to give you an idea. So we're going to say it's going to pinch right there, which would be obviously be a very short tie, but you know, you're just going to make the strips as long as you need to, whether it be 12, 14, 16 inches, anything like that. So I cut out a whole bunch of strips here that are t about 12 inches long, for them to be exact for now. I have a feeling we might need a few more. So now basically all we're going to do is just stick these pieces of tape down on top of each other, just like when you're making pretty much any other duct tape creation. So you got your first two stuck down just like that, your third strip and you can overlap by just a little bit, usually about a quarter of an inch will work, or maybe a little bit less than a quarter of an inch. Take your fourth one, and stick it down right here, covering up the sticky side. Now let's check with our tie here, and see if that is 
wide enough and it actually looks like it just barely is so that'll work for now I was thinking well, I might have to put a few extra strips on there but it doesn't look like we have to so we're just going to lay it down just like that and we're going to take a pen and I have a pencil here which will work too and we're just going to trace right onto the duct tape just like in the other tie tutorial this piece right here if you are using pen just be very careful you obviously don't mark up your tie because you definitely don't want to do that and just trace all the way on the sides here onto the, str onto the strip of tape where the tie is and then we're obviously the next part we're going to do is cut out that imprint of the tie on the sheet here so we'll do that step next okay so now we have our tie cut out next thing we're going to do is scrunch it up here at the end and we're going to feed it into the fake knot here now basically this is a really tricky part of this part the trickiest part of the entire tutorial and that and that's probably because the, in order to make this look good you really have to fiddle with it to make sure that it all folds correctly and the, the most the most difficult part here is making this part here look somewhat presentable because on a normal tie the fabric would just crease uh, normally and it really wouldn't make it wouldn't really stand out that much but with duct tape you know obviously you know when you have all the same color here it's definitely going to show up so we're going to try to do our best to make that as presentable as possible and just you know try to work with that as best you can obviously this tie were longer it would probably be a little bit easier just because you know you have a little more room to work with obviously this is about you know like a foot long so but we'll do the best we can here the next thing we do once you have it all scrunched up like that is we're going to feed it into our fake knot and you want to feed it in fairly far just so when it gets to that point where it's a little bit scrunched up and you can if you if you can if you have small fingers you can probably reach in and kind of pull it through. I don't have very small fingers, so it's a little difficult for me, but but you see here how you get the idea of how you have your duct tape clip on tie. And once again, we'll try to make that a little bit neater there. If this hole were a little bit bigger, it might be a little bit easier. So you know, if you guys are experimenting with that, you can make the the uh, hole on this fake knot a little bit bigger. That might help. Once you have it exactly the way you want it, and that's pretty much what I'm, how I'm going to make it for this one. Actually, you know what? Let me stick it in again. It's going to be a little bit difficult. As you can see, it's just, it's just it definitely doesn't want to stay in there just because, you know, the duct tape naturally wants to expand. Once you have it stuck in there, we're just going to take another strip of tape here. And this part really doesn't have to be pretty. What you're going to do is you're just going to stick a piece of tape in there and you're just going to stick it to the walls of the fake knot here. And it doesn't really have to be pretty just because, I mean, it's the inside of the fake knot and no one's going to see it. So you can just fold around the side here. Do any trimming if you want to. And then you, you'll have part of the duct tape tie here. So next thing we're going to do is attach this clip and we will have pretty much have our duct tape clip on tie. So that's next. Okay, so once you've gotten your tile straightened down, you made sure that it looks somewhat presentable. I went back and redid it a little bit just to make it somewhat look a little bit better. I promise it looks a lot better on camera just because, you know, the light's hitting it a bunch of different ways and stuff like that. But it, you, if you're free to mess with it, make sure that it comes out the right way. It's going to take a little bit of working, but you'll definitely get it once you, you really set your mind to it. The top I have here, I just sealed it up with a small strip of tape. So once you obviously get this thing sealed inside there, you can just cover it up like that. Just a small piece of tape over the top. Now we're going to attach the bobby pin to the back of the uh, clip-on tie here. And this is obviously just going to serve as our clip. So I just took the bobby pin, put a small piece of tape on the inside, you know, so it's stuck down just like that and you're going to obviously stick this down so that the top of the bobby pin is hidden by the top of the fake knot because it's basically how a clip-on tie works you can't really tell if it's a clip-on tie so you want to stick that down just like that and if you want to add a few a few more a little more reinforcement to it you can put a longer strip on there or you can take you know another piece and just stick it down here and that'll prevent it from coming up and basically you know you just take your bobby pin and you just slip it on just like a normal clip on tie and then you're good to go 
So that's pretty much how to make a duct tape clip on tie. Like I said, I did make an, uh, a full length tie a few tutorials ago, so it's very, very similar, but obviously with this tutorial you don't have the long tail of the uh, tie to deal with. So it's a little bit easier to make. It's a lot of fun to, you know, just mess around with, make it a whole bunch of different colors. I must say that a Hello Kitty tie would look pretty sweet, you know, if you lined up all the little Hello Kitty decals on there. So that's how to make a duct tape clip on tie. There will be more tutorials coming in the future, so take care, stay tuned to the channel, subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you next time on the Duct Tape Stuff channel.